couldn't move my arms nor my legs. I could just move my head. And I called my wife and I said, Honey, what's wrong with me? I can't move. She called the doctor. He examined me. He says, this is a residual result of your accident, Bob. He said, um, it's some kind of arthritic involvement in uh, which you are locked for the present. He says, uh, perhaps with long therapy, we can uh, release you. And then he went away. And the next day he came back. Bob said to him this time, Doc, I like you. You're a great doctor. Give me whatever medicine you've got and whatever treatment you've got, but I've got to tell you, Doc, I'm going to call another doctor in on this case, a better doctor than you ever thought of being. And I guess, Doc, you know who he is, don't you? doctor said, yes, Bob. I know who he is. So after the doctor had gone, Bob said to his wife, honey, try to lift me up, will you? Well, he was huge and she wasn't very big and she couldn't do it. And he said, go out and get some help. And she brought in a couple of men and they lifted him out of bed and stood him on his feet. And he says, just steady me, boys, for a while, will you? And then he said, in the name of God, I will walk. Now, that may sound very uh, presumptuous. But there is a certain depth of faith which can perform miraculous things. What is a miracle? It's a wonderful happening. And Bob said, in the name of God, I command my muscles to respond. And had I not been riding in a car with him many months afterwards, I myself might have been filled with the same doubt which uh, comes to your mind at this moment. But when we got back onto the platform of the railroad station at Poughkeepsie, I said, Bob, walk up and down in front of me so that I can see how you do. And with with only a little limp in the left leg, he walked perfectly. I said, but don't you have any pain? Pain, he said, of course I have pain, indescribable pain. But he said, you see, that is part of the deal. God let me walk, and he gives me the power to rise above the pain. And I stood there looking at my old friend with tears in my eyes. And when presently the train, laden down with upstate snow, rushed into the station and I boarded it and looked out the windows at him with a glorious smile, he was waving his hand at me. And my first thought was, what a man! God actually makes great human beings! But the next thought that came to me was, Here's a man who had a problem, and he had a healthy mind, and he didn't insist on retaining the problem. He didn't exercise self-pity. He stood up to the problem, and he got on top of it, and he handled it. Now, I'm not preaching at you. I'm talking to myself. You can listen in if you want to. That's the way to handle a problem. Don't act weak in the presence of it. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. 
for he will exalt you in due time and cast all your cares on him for he careth for you also in him and he will bring it to pass get you on top of that problem our heavenly father we thank you for the great truth that lies in christianity which we believe applies to every detail of human existence and that there's nobody here who can't solve a problem if they solve it in harmony with your mind and your mind is not theoretical it's highly practical so we turn to you now and we ask for insight under the mighty hand of God In thy name we pray. Amen.